Hello everyone, welcome to another plan with me. Um, this week I'm using a kit by Miss and Meow um, and it is the most beautiful kit. Let me see if I can find the name. Um, I don't think she writes them on the kits itself. Sorry, I do have it just next to me, but she... Uh, it is called Happy Soul and it is... The colours in this kit are stunning. It's like the... It, it's a warm peach, pink, green... Um, with some sort of deep red flowers and deep purple flowers in and it is absolutely gorgeous um the um bottom washi is again just this really rich deep florals mixed in with these sort of light pink and white florals and then the green leaves um and then the thinner strip of washi above it with um the sort of star uh garlands along the bottom absolutely stunning absolutely gorgeous i loved i loved this kit so much the colors just call to me uh very very strongly um so i tried something a little bit different this week um shante plans recently did a plan with me where she didn't do the traditional sidebar with the checklists and the habit trackers so i love the way habit trackers look so i have left them in there but she used a fashion girl from red lyrics and i absolutely loved how it looked um and since i don't use the fashion girls in kits all that much um as in the full boxes that have a fashion girl i usually avoid those i thought well it's not going to clash with anything because i wouldn't use i don't know if there was a fashion girl box with this kit but um it wouldn't clash with it because i wouldn't be using it if there was one so this was just a fashion girl from red lyrics i thought the colors fitted the kit perfectly the color of her jacket and the color of her shoes and handbag are so perfect for this kit so i'm so glad i saw her do that because i would never ever have thought to do something like that um by myself unless i'd seen someone else do it i just wouldn't have ever thought about that um and i don't think i've done it in my next spread after this one um but it's just nice to kind of mix it up now and again and i really really like how it looked so thank you tay um I, I absolutely love how that came out. Um, so very, very happy I saw uh, her try that. Um, so then you see me... Um, oh, sorry, I don't think I've mentioned I used some Sadie Stickers Floral Deco um, for this week as well. I think it was Floral, floral Deco 6. Um, and then whatever the matching trim is to go with that I used as well. So you'll see those dotted around because the at the time I purchased this kit, Miss and Meow Deco was on a really small sheet, um, whereas now she offers much bigger sheets um, to go with her kits. So that's why I didn't have all that much to use from the kit itself. So I brought in some that was close enough from Sadie Stickers to go with the kit. Um, so yeah, sorry, then I was just laying down the habit trackers. Um, and then I realised I didn't like the order of them because the box was orange. So I just swapped them around so that it wasn't like a big block of orange at the top. Um, and then in terms of decorating my date covers, I just put on some uh, sort of dainty flower dividers from Letters to Apollo. And I absolutely love how that looked. It was nice that it wasn't too fussy um, and it just made it look really kind of pretty. Um, and uh, I don't want to use the word dainty. <laughs> I'm so aware of how much I use that word, but that is the only word I could think of um, for how to describe the top part of the page is dainty. Um, and then my, uh, the dates numbers themselves are from Harriet Wright Designs um, and they're really cute. I use them quite a lot. Um, so for this week, I did my layout of my boxes ever so slightly differently because I wanted to have the double box together. I didn't really want it to be a part because it is a scene and it's a very pretty, cute, floral, uh, homely <laughs> scene. So I wanted to have it all together. So um, I just laid out my boxes ever so slightly differently in the second half of the week. Um, so then moving into the plans themselves, um, I Yet again, I know you'll all be amazed to see that I was tired, but the very start of Monday um, and on other days throughout the week, I was tired. Um, so I was just marking that with a face mask from Miss and Meow. Um, and then my favourite thing about Miss and Meow kits is these scalloped circles. I am obsessed with them. And when you get them with a kit, they're foiled to the same foil as the kit and oh, they are hands down my favourite thing ever to put in a planner. Um, they're up there with um, the square boxes in the two little bees kits. Oh, 
amazing. I love them so much. So I'll make sure I always use all four of those in any Miss and Meow spread because I'm obsessed with them. I love them and they're beautiful. What are you going to do? <laughs> um, so I'm just trying to see where I used the fourth one. Oh yeah, I see. I was going to say I could only see three, but the fourth color was, uh, I've got my planner in front of me, but the fourth color was much lighter. So um, I was just marking that I was playing some computer games with that first green scallop and I used a computer sticker by Harriet Wright Designs. Um, then my counselor gave me some homework to do for this week. Um, so I had to do that. I didn't have to do it, but I did it on Monday. Um, and I used a little candle from Miss and Meow. And I also put a quarter box, a Crafts by Tally quarter box over the Miss and Meow scalloped box on that one. And then I used a, a character from Fox and Pip to mark that I was watching ha Desperate Housewives and I ate some Halo Top and it was wonderful. Loved every second of all of that. And then I had an early night, which I marked with a Crafts by Towie icon and a deco sticker from the kit. Then on Tuesday, uh, I was feeling quite emotional. The, count the homework that the counsellor had given me really hit me on uh, Tuesday morning. The emotions from kind of doing that um, hit me very hard. So I had quite a difficult day at work trying to get through the day um so when I got home my husband he knows how much I love the rain and he knows how much I love walking in the rain and it was pouring with rain so he said oh well, why don't we just go for a little walk in the rain and you can kind of clear your head and you know tell me how your day was and all that stuff so that's what we did um after work and it was wonderful it wasn't very long we just sort of did a loop of of our area and it was very much needed and the fresh air did me wonders um then when I got home had a bubble bath, which I used the opportunity to use another one of those scalloped circles, um, and then a script from Wim's Call Me Studio, and that bath is from Miss and Meow, sorry, the two stickers above the box of tissues and the Wellington boots are from White Day Stationery. Um, then I painted my nails after I've had my bath, um, and we watched Great British Bake Off together, um, and it was really, really nice. It was um, actually a really lovely evening, considering how upset I'd been in the daytime. Um, the day the evening really turned it around um then the next day so across Wednesday and Thursday we had a conference at work so we uh, pretty much had the afternoon off and we just logged into the conference because it was all virtual um, and on Wednesday we went home and each could watch it from home and on Thursday we all watched it together and got pizza and, and just had a really nice afternoon so it was quite a week um with work and I really needed that it, it was it did wonders for me, to be honest, of, of all the weeks to need it. Um, I did need a quieter week um, with what was going on with counselling. So then I had another counselling session that day, which again, I've marked with a candle because um, I'd usually use the teacup from White Day Stationery. But as you can see, sorry, I just need to move in my chair. As you can see, I used that for the work conference um, just above that. So I ended up using a candle instead from Miss and Mia. Um, then I marked that I rested for the rest of the evening um, and I just kind of chilled and watched some videos and um, probably just scrolled my little heart away um, on Instagram um, and I marked that with a massive uh, florally flourish from Honey Inked and a pillow from Miss and Meow. I don't love how that came out. I think I used the wrong style of half boxes but it's cute enough <laughs> so uh, I'm leaving it where it is. Um, so then I'm just marking the continuation of a work conference there. We all played some board games together in the afternoon. Um, I don't think I marked the pizza. I don't know how I missed that, but I didn't mark pizza, but we did get pizza. Um, so the board games I marked with a Crafts by Towie game night icon. Or it's on her game night sheet. Um, and then I'm just adding a load of little garlands everywhere. Um, so then what I'm marking here is drinks with the girls. We all went out together after work, straight after work. We were out for hours so we went and got cocktails um first of all we were at the cocktail bar it wasn't a very nice cocktail bar but it, it did the job it was two minutes from the restaurant um so we were in there for about two hours and then we went on to a restaurant called bosco which is a pizzeria and they do pasta dishes as well i think most of us had a pasta dish um and oh my goodness it's just delicious um if anyone is looking for a nice Italian restaurant I can highly recommend Bosco I think it's absolutely delicious and the atmosphere is lovely in there as well 
Um, so then on Friday, I'm just layering another one of those Crafts by Towie foil quarter boxes over um, a Miss and Meow scalloped sticker. Not Miss and Meow. Yeah, it's part of the kit, sorry. Scalloped sticker and using um, a pair of Miss and Meow slippers to mark that I was exhausted. Yet again, it was a late night on Thursday. Um, sorry, the pizza box on Thursday there is from Crafts by Towie as well. Sorry, I'm not doing very well at keeping on top of what the stickers are and where they're from. Um, I think all of Saturday is Crafts by Towie icons. Sorry, all of Friday is Crafts by Towie icons apart from the slippers. So enjoy those. Um, so I did some planner filming. I did quite a lot of planner filming, actually. It was lovely. Um, and then I just, oh, I haven't written binge properly so I'm gonna to have to write that I had a YouTube binge I need to add an e on the end um I'm just showing you there that I uh finished a sheet of stickers it's very satisfying um and then we went and got our favorite crisps and then we went and watched James Bond because it was the opening night the night before but because I already had plans we couldn't go it's our tradition that we go on opening night but we missed out this time so we went to see it the next day and it was wonderful um and then Saturday we slept in for a really long time. I think we didn't get out of bed until about half 12. Um, and then my husband just randomly suggested um, that we go for lunch together somewhere. Um, and he wanted to go to the aquarium, um, which we've never been to Bristol Aquarium before. Um, it's not all that brilliant, but, you know, he wanted to go and see it once. So we did that and it was lovely to spend that time together. And then it was Strictly Come Dancing in the evening. So I watched that and uh, we all played a game called Operation Tango together, which is a two-player game. Um, so four of us played it sort of alongside each other at the same time. So that was a wonderful Saturday evening. And then Sunday was a much, much more chill day. Um, it was um, my stepdad's dad's birthday, so that was lovely. Um, just to wish them happy birthday, we didn't do anything. Um, and then... Uh, sorry, we didn't have like a party or anything. It sounded really harsh. We didn't do anything. Um, they had a meal, but I couldn't be there. Um, and then I just did some online shopping. I called my sister and then we binge watched our little hearts out watching Squid Game, which I'm sure most of you will have heard of or watched yourselves. Um, and it really lived up to all of the hype. We loved every second of that program. Um, so this is the finished spread. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, the colours are amazing. Um, and I'm so happy that I got to use another Miss and Meow kit because I'm obsessed. <laughs> 